Okay, this is just an update of my simple SEC circuit. Now, it's a very simple oscillator using just two components, a 4 kilovolt trigger transformer and a, a transistor. I'm using an MPSA06 today. Now, this is the circuit here, and none of this other stuff's involved. Now, recently I've been thinking about uh, how to run this circuit on a low voltage, maybe 1.5 volts, and I came across Slayer's videos, and he goes by the name of G Blue on YouTube. Uh, check his vids out, they're fantastic. Now, basically he's been doing this using a dual thief. Now, I came across this the other day in a shop, and what that is, is I think it's a dual thief in disguise. It's a 1.5 volt emergency mobile phone charger. So you put a 1.5 volt battery in it, a double A, and it bumps the voltage up to uh, 5.5 volts, and it runs the circuit really, really well. So before I fire it up, I'll just tell you a bit about the setup I'm using today. I'm using three pans in the oscillator circuit. This pan here is the output pan. This pan here is connected to the base of the transistor and I've got another one over here and that's connected to the uh, negative for the battery or the emitter of the transistor. Basically it just gives you an extra wireless option. Uh, you can use one on the positive as well. Shame to waste it. Now basically to start the thing up I just touch these two pans with my hand and this little device is fired up now. Now because the base tray is so close to the output tray the voltage, uh, the amp drawer is uh, 70 milliamps or so. Now, I can move that away, and the amp drawer goes right down, it's about 30 milliamps. Now, I can light a fluorescent tube up uh, really right down to 20 milliamps with this, but I'll leave it on 30 just to show you, it lights up nice and bright on 30. So that's the fluorescent lighting off a 1.5 volt battery. Now, the other thing I want to talk today about is the uh, receiver side of this setup because I think the receiver part is as important as the transmitting part. Now with the receiver part today I'm using two uh, pans. I've got this one here and this one here. Now I've just got those both linked onto a screwdriver at the moment with a third crock lead going to the negative of the last LED in the string and then going into an Abramenko plug into two inductors and then into a virtual ground here. Now I'm running that backwards, but it doesn't really seem to make much difference. But it's just interesting to, to, that the LEDs are all facing the wrong direction. Anyway, they're all lit up, but uh, that's the gap between the transmitting tray and the receiving ones. Now, you can see how bright they are there, but if I take them off, this crocodile off this screwdriver, and connect another trigger transformer in there. Let's see what the wiring is on that. Just bear with me a minute. Look how bright they've gone now. And that's off a 1.5 volt battery. So I think that the receiver side is as important as the transmitting side. Now, Dr. Stifler, I mean, he's given this some thought because he's uh, got matched transmitter and transmitting and receiving towers. But we can do the same with this. Now, just by adding a trigger transformer, you know, in line uh, with the collecting uh, pans, we can boost uh, the brightness of the LEDs significantly. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.